I've had this artwork up here for a bit, um, so I'm gonna change them out and find some new photos.
all right everyone so this is the final look of my new desk setup not much has changed but i think that with the monitor it really makes the space so much better and i feel a lot more refreshed with the new artwork i put up so i'll just take you through my desk and you can see how i organize everything okay so i have this cart and originally it kind of had just a bunch of random supplies but i put all of my plants on here and then i also had my books in one of the hay crates but i put it down here these are like my more immediate books and the other books that i have are on my other shelf um, but these ones are like my journals and the ones that i read the most and so it's like easy to grab i also decided to put my laptop in a closed position because i kind of just like using the monitor by itself but i definitely will need to open this up when i have meetings um, because i don't have a webcam on the monitor but that's fine i think it working with both monitors will be ideal anyway but just for um, non-work purposes and just to make it more clean i close the laptop so in this first drawer it's kind of just a bunch of random stuff but everything serves a purpose here i just have some leftover washi tape that couldn't fit into my washi tape holders some of my crochet hooks and just like additional supplies like this double-sided tape dispenser and my airpods in this corner is just a bunch of my stickers and some of my disposable photos that I've gotten. Over here is my stationary stuff, so I have my little notepad and a couple of other stickers and things like that. And then in these boxes I keep things like cards and other small business supplies. If I order something from a small business and they have a little business card or whatever, I always keep them. And then I just have my passion planner and my tablet, which is what I use to do all of my animations. Then in the second drawer, it's honestly not super organized, but this is like where I keep all of my important things. So any warranties for my electronics and things like that are all in here. Next up, we have my first shelf. So I have this pothos plant that I got from Ikea and a lot of this stuff is just my crystals and crafting supplies. And I just have my washi tape and my hay crate, which has a bunch of my stickers in it, and a cup holder with more of my pens and scissors. On the very top shelf, we have some Matisse artwork and more plants as well as more crystals. Pretty simple up here. Moving on to the new artwork, I kept some of them, but I also replaced a lot of them and added some more. It's springtime, so I just wanted to reflect the springiness of everything, and I've just been loving the color green, so kind of keeping with that theme. Over here is my digital clock from Amazon, and my other pens and markers. Then I also just have this fake tulip set from Etsy. Tulips are my favorite flower, so I love keeping that there, and again, it's going with the spring theme and the vases from Ikea. Next up, we just have my new keyboard. This is the Womie K61 keyboard, I believe. It is RGB, but it has so many different color options. And then as you saw earlier, I just used my Hay Crate to make this makeshift laptop razor because I don't want it to be too tall. Then I have these little bamboo candle holders from Ikea and a candle from Ikea, and then a bamboo laptop holder from Amazon and my 2019 macbook i believe or 2020 macbook i also decided to get these little wrist rests thing from amazon because my wrists were hurting from using this keyboard it does lay flat it doesn't have a mechanism to raise it at all so i got this so that my wrists don't hurt during the day this mouse pad is from a little craft store inside h mart Thank you so much for watching my desk makeover. If you work from home or if you're a student, I think it's really important for you to love your desk space. I hated mine for the longest time. Even before the version that it was in the before shots, I hated it. So it's been a long time coming for me being able to enjoy my desk space, but now I love it and it makes me feel so much more productive. So I definitely recommend investing some money in your desk space if it helps you. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more fun content and I will see you next time.